Yeah, this is Econ here. I'm from Intel. Yeah, currently I'm focusing on the uh, total inductor optimization for both Intel CPU and GPU. Uh, in today's session, I will introduce the uh, focus on the Intel GPU, and I will briefly introduce how to add a backend to the inductor and take the Intel GPU inductor, uh, Intel GPU backend for inductor as a case to study the methodology. Okay. Uh, this session will cover the status and a case study and a future work. Okay. Uh, actually, PyTorch 2.0 has provided the integration methodology to integrate a, hard, a new backend at the uh, Dynamo level. So it means that a new backend could be a, 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 is a, a Dynamo backend, and then the Dynamo passes to pa pa passes the uh, captured FX graph to the new backend, and the, the new new backend could hand uh, decide how to process these. Uh, capture the graph. But Intel GPU backend integrates with the Torch.compile at the compile at the induction uh, at the inductor level. So the motivation that uh, why we choosing uh, the solution is uh, because we want to uh, almost uh, uh, we want to reuse most of the functionalities and the optimization passes of in, uh, inductor. Uh, for example, we want to reuse the inductor loop IR. We want to reuse the loop fusion optimization, the inline optimization, and so on. So, so it means that the Intel GPU backend, we just need to focus on how to uh, produce the performant device code. Uh, it uh, the integration methodology or the mechanism significantly save a lot of effort, develop effort for Intel GPU backend. Okay. And, uh, ah, sorry. So, yeah, uh, PyTorch 2.1 has provided the, the interfaces to integrate the Intel GPU for Intel GPU backend integration. We provided uh, Two essential class here. One is the base scheduling, and another one is the wrapper code gen. Okay, the base scheduling is used to produce the device code, and uh, we just need to enumerate the scheduler node and pro pro produce the device code. Okay, regarding the wrapper code gen, it is used to glue the uh, kernel code and the infrastructure code. Okay. Uh, besides the two essential classes, we also provide some uh, APIs to allow Intel GPU backend can register to the inductor at the wrong, at the wrong time, and uh, you also can get the best scheduling and the wrapper code gen classes. Okay, yeah. And uh, besides that, inductor also we try to uh, generalize the runtime design for GPU devices because uh, you know. The inductor has multiple device backends. We need to support both the CUDA for uh, and the Intel GPU and the other GPUs. Okay. Okay. So this page is the GPU mean speed up ratio for the inductor hand face benchmark. Okay. The, the, this page includes both the the, the B float 16, AP 16, uh, and the AP 32, okay. Uh, currently, uh, the, the FP 16 and the B float 16 performance is promising. So regarding the AP 32, we will uh, optimize it later, okay. Uh, this page shows the individual models of the inductor Hagen Face Benchmark Suite for auto mixed precision B float 16 training. Okay, most of these models are better than the eager mode, but uh, we still observe some outlier models. Okay, regarding the outlier models here means the uh, total daughter compile performance is kind of lower or is not as good as the eager mode. Okay. Um, so yeah, in this quarter, we will significantly improve these outlier models and 
we will re, re, uh, enhance the situation. Okay. Yeah, this page shows the individual models for the auto mix precision uh, for AP uh, sixteen inference. Okay. So the most of the models are better than the EGA mode. The outlier portion is better than the uh, training mode. Okay, the outlier portion here is about 10%. Uh, okay, we are continuously uh, optimizing the, these models. In terms of the outlier models, um, we have finished a round of performance analysis. Okay, there are two major reasons here. So. Um, one first one, the config, configuration on the induct side is not uh, optimal uh, for internal GPU. Like the, uh, for example, like the number of WAPs, we just need to change the or adjust the number of WAPs a little bit, so the performance will be back. Okay, and. Uh, uh, and, and another reason is about the inducted GPU, the, the Intel GPU backend. So Intel GPU backend is on top of Triton. So we um, might be kind of like need to optimize uh, in the on the Triton side. For example, we need to ensure our load and store on the Triton side must be uh, aligned the load store. Then the performance will improve a, a lot of it, a lot. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so since we have uh, finished a round of performance analysis uh, in last quarter, we have high confidence to improve their performance a lot. Uh, we, uh, we will deliver a significant performance improvement in uh, this quarter. For training, we could uh, get about additionally additional 19% additional, uh, performance improvement. Conservatively, and uh, and uh, for for the for 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 the inference, we could uh, get about a fifteen percent performance improvement. And uh, in terms of the outlier models, okay, uh, the training will be decreased from the twenty four percent to the four percent. And uh, for the inference, outlier models uh, will be zero, okay. It means that no outline models for the inference mode, okay. Yeah, this page just shows the performance breakdown since we have uh, we have obtained the per promising performance speed up ratio, right? So we also want to get more insights uh, how the Triton uh, or the inter, uh, inter GPU backend could help uh, get, uh, how, how the inter GPU backend for intact uh, on top of Chitin can get uh, such significant performance improvement. Okay, we established the mapping between the uh, atom kernels and the fused kernels. So for most of the kernels, the fused kernels uh, could get the impressive performance improvement. And regarding the metamor or batch metamor, so because the torch inductor can only fall back to the Atom library by default, so yeah, training does not help a lot for the these models. Okay. Uh, in terms of hardware behavior, so the training kernel perform better than the uh, Atom operation. Open routines kind of part. The memory access of the Triton kernel is just at the beginning of the kernel, but the Atom, uh, uh, the, the 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 global memory access lasts to the uh, end of the kernel. Okay, and the, the L3 memory bandwidth and the, um, uh, uh, of Triton kernel is much better than the Atom. Okay. So uh, besides the performance improvement, we still have potential optimization opportunities here. Um, since there are about 31% uh, 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 stored by the GPU barrier, so uh, for internal GPU backend, we will meet, 
mitigated their overhead by using the uh, name the barrier. Okay, we will orchestrate the barrier arrive and wait and other no data dependency instructions to mitigate the uh, performance, uh, the stored overhead here. Okay, uh, in the future, we will continuously optimize or we will focus on the functionality, performance, and the design. And eventually, we want to, uh, we will upstream into GPU backend to the inductor. Yeah, so uh, in summary, Intel GPU backend integrates with the Torch.com compile at the inductor level, and the Intel GPU backend is on top of Triton, okay? And we have optim uh, obtained some uh, promising performance and more optimizations for the Intel GPU backend are on the road. We will uh, deliver a better performance in this quarter. Yeah, at the last, uh, I will uh, want to express my uh, uh, heartfelt appreciation to Jason, Horace, and Bean because they help a lot to land to integrate Intel GPU backend for inductor uh, at the, on the inductor side. And just as I mentioned before, Intel GPU backend is on top of Triton, so we also upstream the Intel GPU backend to the Triton. So yeah, help the feel help a lot to. Uh, integrate the IntelliJ backend on um, the Triton side. Okay, that's all for the light talk session. Thank you. Any question? Yes. Uh, you mentioned the Triton, so you are integrated with Triton. Yeah, IntelliJ backend also. So the IntelliJ backend here contains two parts. One is the Triton backend. Intel GPU has upstreamed to the Triton. And the Intel GPU backend for inductor uh, is a, 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 a Triton backend, it seems, seems like. Yeah, it is uh, on top of Triton. Intel GPU backend for inductor is on top of Triton since Triton has supported the Intel GPU. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, so the, uh, the Triton IR that you're using? Uh, we're using the Triton GPU IR. GPU. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other question? Uh, what was the scale of the work to integrate? What, how big was the team that did this integration? Sorry? How, how many people were involved in the... Working on the Triton GPU or Intel GPU? In, no, just the integration with Torch Inductor. Integration with Torch Inductor. Uh, we, we, actually, we have a team working on this, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you mean the, the, the how many team members work on this? Um, actually, I can not remember the accurate number. Uh, yeah. <laughs>